Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be making a transforming hamburger menu in SAS and JavaScript. Alright, so let's get started. First up, this is our markup. Pretty simple. We have a wrapper with a class of hamburger menu around 1, 2, and 3. Three divs that we're going to be working with to make the menu. I have JavaScript and our CSS there. Okay, so let's get started. Here I've styled up the body a little bit, background color of black, font size of 100 pixels, so that means 1M is 100 pixels. So we're going to give the hamburger menu a width of 1M and a height of 1M, a padding of 0.2M, so it's 140 pixels by 140 pixels, a background color of a light blue, so 0 a F. Sounds good. Uh, cursor, pointer, and to center it, we're going to give it a margin of zero auto. And there we have a blue box. Wonderful. Okay. Now the divs inside get some styling. They're going to have a background color of white, a width of 1M, a height of 0.2M, and then the spacing between them, so margin bottom, spacing between them is going to be 0.2M as well. And there we go. Now let's add the transformation. So on hover, uh, the first one is going to undergo a transformation. Transform, transform. We're going to rotate 45 degrees. Okay, but the problem is it's rotating in place and the transformation origin is right here in the center, but we want to make an X with this first one and the third one. So we have to move this transformation origin down to the center and it's 40 pixels away. So we're going to say translate Y going to translate y 0.4m like that and now it is going to the center and so it's one half of our x perfect okay number two that one's just going to disappear and number three it's similar to number one except we're moving it up 40 pixels and rotating it back 45 degrees. So there, it forms an X now. And now let's add the transition. And now it moves into place just wonderfully. Okay, but we're not going to have this on hover. We're going to add a JavaScript, a JavaScript trigger to this. So we're going to add a class of open there. And let's play around in the JavaScript. So we'll select all the menus. Hamburger menu. menus for each of those function m and m we're going to add an event listener on click and then we're going to toggle the class of open m dot class list toggle 
open. All right, let's see if that works. And it does. All right, everybody, there you go. That is how you make a transforming hamburger menu. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something. My name is Jacob. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.